hello everybody hope everybody is doing well so last week was very very hectic because last week we lost one of the <coughs> most precious one of the most most precious uh, leader of our church and we are still mourning we are um, still couldn't cope up with it because it was so sudden we didn't expect unexpectedly everything happened and um, we are still you know trying to get over it and uh, in this kind of situation one thing I noticed and one thing I've observed which really disturbed me which really made me very very angry is that some people now after he passed away there's so many advisors suddenly came up and there are so many self-proclaimed, I mean self-claimed doctor came, came up <coughs> and then they started suggesting their parents like you should have taken him here, you should have taken him to that hospital and this hospital. I mean where were you guys when he was still struggling? Where, where were you when there was no one to take him to the hospital? There was no one around, nobody even helped him for one rupees and then there suddenly so many advisors are coming up now and then saying um, this this hospital was better that hospital was better like this is so very irritating um, already his parents are going through so much of uh, mental agony and then on top of that this I don't know what to say I just feel like you know um, using some words only yeah. it's very very irritating please don't do that because when we were struggling to take you to hospital up and down, Guwahati up and down, there was nobody was around, nobody even, you know, even came up to help him, even one rupee also. And then suddenly now so many people are coming up to give him, give their parents, I mean, give his parents so many unnecessary advice, which doesn't make sense anymore because he already passed away. If you had so much of ideas, if you had so much of advice that you had to give, why didn't you give earlier? It's very, very irritating, guys. Don't do that. When somebody is still alive, if you want to help, help. If you want to give advice, you can give advice. Everybody doesn't have money to help. It's okay. But you can just come up to their parents and then give them little, like, few words of encouragement and few words of wisdom. I think even that will, you know, help them emotionally. But now after... Now that he passed away, there's so many people coming up and giving so much, you know, so many advice, and it's very, very irritating. It's really, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I was just not happy when I came to know about all these people because we were struggling so much. His uh, other friend and then his uh, some of the relatives, they were really struggling to take him up and down to Guwahati, and then. The treatment was not easy for him as well and for his family also when and then you cannot compare uh, you know sickness from this sickness to that sickness because they're all the sickness are different even even if we say cancer there's so many di different type of cancers you cannot compare with blood cancer and the breast cancer they are two very different cancers but there are so many people like trying to act very smart and then trying to advise their family when he's no more, when their son is no more. <coughs> and they didn't come up to their parents when they, you know, needed help the most. So it's really, really, you know, make me very, very upset. I just feel like slapping them seriously. I swear I like, you know, I really, really want to slap them. It's so irritating. If you want to help, help when someone is still alive. If you want to give them some kind of financial help or any emotionally, if you want to, you know, uh, help them, do when someone is still alive. Unnecessary, don't try to, you know, act smart when someone is no more. And then if you don't know how to encourage other, you have no right to discourage anyone as well. Please don't play with someone's emotion. <coughs> now, please don't come up to uh, any parents or anybody or any family members <coughs> who has already lost their loved ones and then say you could have done this and you could have done that. This is very, 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 very irritating. So anyways, my dear friends, I just want to thank you for your love and your support. Um, Today, after so long, a uh, little bit free, so we came here to Dipu. 
we had some important work with my husband even he is not well but then he had to come because obviously i cannot drive a car so we both are in dipu right now we have some very important work to do so keep supporting me thank you so much and if you want to suggest me anything feel free to suggest and then i always check and i'll try to reply all the comments as much as possible i love to you know reply and read all the comments so thank you so much and then keep advising me and i am very happy to always learn something new so thank you so much once again have a safe day everyone